When it comes to the Emma Original Mattress, what do you need to know? Hi there, I'm Wes with The Slumberyard. Over here, we review all things online beds and bedding products. And in this video, I'm basically talking about the Emma Original Mattress and everything that you need to know. I'll start off and talk about the policies that this bed does come with if you do decide to order it online. Then I'll touch on the construction, the firmness, the feel, and everything that you need to know about this bed. At the end, I'll talk about the pricing briefly. And at the very end, I'll try to have a final verdict to answer some of the questions that you still might have about this mattress, like who is it best for and who should ultimately go the route of Emma? Now, if you happen to enjoy this video, you know, hit the thumbs up button or subscribe to the channel for more. And if you need any more information about this Emma mattress or other beds from the Emma brand, check down below in the description. We'll have some more content for you down there. But without further ado, let's get into this mattress review. Alrighty, so before I get into all the things that you'll need to know about the Emma original, I do want to say that Emma as a brand did send us this bed for free to review and tell you guys about it. But if you do order it online, it's going to be backed by the following policies, starting with free shipping. This is a bed in a box mattress that'll ship to you in a big old box. And something cool about the brand is that it will ship to many different countries, not just the United States. So if you live somewhere else, you might be able to get the Emma mattress. You probably will be, but more about that later. So once the bed ships to you, you basically drag that thing in your home and start ripping off all the packaging and the bed will start to expand in front of your eyes. Now a bed like the Emma original is an all foam mattress. So you might want to give it a day or two to fully inflate, fully expand and get to its true firmness and feel. But you know, once you do have the bed in your possession, the brand backs their bed with a sleep trial. You get 365 nights to try out the Emma original in the comfort of your own home before you have to make any sort of tough decisions like whether you wanna keep it or send it back. Now, if you decide the bed isn't exactly right for you, you can get free returns within that trial period, but hopefully you do enjoy the mattress and keep it. And if so, it's backed by a standard 10 year warranty. And if you need any more information about the policies, shipping information, or anything like that, check down below in the description. We'll have some helpful links for you down there. But now let's get into the bulk of this review and talk about the construction. What is the Emma Original made up of? Well, at the bottom, you have a dense layer of thick support foam, which is basically the support layer for this mattress. Above that, you have a transition layer, which is made up of some memory foam. And then you have two layers of comfort foam. One is a graphite infused premium memory foam. And on top is another graphite infused comfort foam layer, but it's more of a soft foam. And this construction all adds up to give the bed more of a soft neutral foam feel. You know, since it does use a couple layers of memory foam, you might think it has more of a memory foam feel, but that's not the case based on our tests over here at the slumber yard. It pretty much has a nice, soft, accommodating foam feel. Something that most people will probably really enjoy. You know, we usually say that feels like this are something that nine out of 10 sleepers are gonna be a-okay with. It's definitely not off-putting or divisive. It's just something that most people are gonna find to be comfortable. In the same way that something like a Casper or a Lisa mattress uses memory foam, as a transition layer, this bed will use that memory foam to kind of provide a lot of pressure relief, but it won't be the overwhelming feel. So in general, soft foam feel, something like a Casper or a Lisa, something you probably will like and maybe have slept on before. Now, moving on to firmness, this is another area where Emma is really accommodating because this bed is right at a medium on our firmness scale, meaning it should work for all sleeper types, back, stomach, side, and combination. Now, if you are an extra heavy individual above the 200 to 250 pound range, you might want to go for a bed that does have pocketed coils. And luckily, Emma does have the Emma Hybrid, which is an option for you. I'll link it down below in the description box. But basically, this bed I'm talking about today is an all foam mattress, so it'll be great for medium and petite size individuals primarily. Now, firmness is a subjective thing based on how much you weigh, so if you are extra small, you might find beds to be a little bit firmer in general. And if you are a much larger individual, you might find beds to be softer just because you have more mass, but it's just something to keep in mind. You know, not everyone's the same and not everyone's firmness measurements will be the same either. Now, the main X factor for the Emma original mattress is that this brand and this bed is shipped all across the world. So some mattress brands, you know, they only ship to the U S or maybe they only have a Canada department or something like that. Well, this one ships to a number of different countries all across Europe, 
the US and I think even India. So that's something really cool to know if you're not in the US but you are watching this video right now and interested in a new mattress. Now at this point in the video, I wanna talk about a couple things that couples might wanna consider if you happen to share your mattress, those being edge support, motion isolation, and temperature regulation. Now edge support has to do with how well the perimeter edges of the mattress hold up under pressure. And for this bed, it does fine in this department, definitely not the best we've ever seen, but it's definitely not the worst either. You know, since it is an all foam mattress, that kind of adds to a little bit of the edge support degradation, but you're definitely not gonna be falling off this bed anytime soon, and we think it should work for most people out there. If you're really concerned about edge support, you may wanna go the route of the Emma Hybrid because those pocketed coils will provide a little more sturdy foundation, but either way, you're not gonna be falling off either one of these beds anytime soon. Now, in terms of motion isolation, the Emma Original All Foam does pretty great in this department, you know, since it is an all foam mattress. It captures the cross mattress movement rather well, and if you happen to get up in the middle of the night, you're probably not gonna be waking up your partner or anything like that. Now, the last thing to consider is temperature regulation, and we would pretty much say that this bed sleeps temperature neutral at the end of the day. You know, a lot of other factors come into play when talking about temperature, like how hot you keep your room, what kind of sheets you're using, the kind of pajamas that you have, and even where in the world you're located. You know, if you're in a really hot environment, you might wanna turn up the AC more rather than complain about your mattress. But in general, this is pretty much just gonna be a temperature neutral bed. All right, at this point in the video, it's time to talk about price. So how much are you gonna be paying for the Emma Original Mattress? And I do wanna preface this by saying that brands like Emma and other mattress brands out there do like to change their pricing from time to time. So this is as of when I'm recording this video, but you can usually pick up an Emma Original Queen for right around the $900 mark before any discounts. But we should have a discount for you down below in the description, after which you should be paying closer to the $750 range. And this is also in American dollars. You know, I don't know what you're gonna be spending if you are in a different country, but Either way, check down below in the description. We'll have some helpful links for you down there to try to help you save some money with Emma. Now you might notice that next to the logo, there's the Emma ACT logo. That stands for Active Cooling Technology. And in our opinion, this bed isn't really that much of an active cooling bed. That's pretty much just like a marketing thing. Just something to know. But that's pretty much the main story when talking about the Emma original. And at this point in the video, it's time to talk about the final verdict. So who should ultimately go with this mattress and for what reasons? Well, I would say go for the Emma All Foam if you're looking for an affordable All Foam mattress with more of a soft neutral foam feel that's around a medium on our firmness scale that's also pretty darn affordable after discount and available to ship to many places around the globe. But that's just what we think over here at the Slumberyard. What do you guys think? Have you tried this bed? Would you like to? Write us down below in those comments. And would you like us to review other Emma products like the Emma Hybrid? Write us down there as well if that's something that you're into. And if you need any more information about this bed or anything else Emma related, check down below in the description box. We should have some more content from this brand coming to you very soon. But that's gonna do it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button or subscribe to the channel. But for the rest of the Slumberyard team, I'm Wes wishing you a good night's sleep. Subscribe.